clamp it when you don't need to say anything. Uh, the, uh, all right. I had another point on that, and I, I lost it. So that's it. I'm just going to shut up. I'm not saying anymore. Uh, it said, you have heard it, uh, it said, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. But I say unto you that you resist, resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if any man will sue thee at the law, take away thy coat, leave him thy cloak also. Jesus says, go above and beyond. If someone demands something of you, give them extra. Now, this is not a command that qualifies or disqualifies me to enter into the kingdom of heaven because I'm already in the kingdom of God. Or better yet, the kingdom of God is in me. However, it's great advice and it's repeated to the church in Romans chapter 12. <clears throat> Romans chapter 12, and beginning in ver verse 14, it says, Bless them which persecute you, bless and curse not. Rejoice with them that do rejoice, and weep with them that weep. Be of the same mind one toward another. Mind not high things, but condescend to men of low estate. Be not wise in your own conceits. And then it concludes, uh, uh, in verse 20, Therefore, if thine enemy hunger, feed him. If he thirst, give him drink. For in so doing, thou shalt keep coals of fire on his head. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. So Paul reiterates this message. It's not a condition for being a Christian. The only condition for being a saved sinner is to trust Christ as your Savior. Uh, however, he said, Now that Christ lives in you, do what Christ said on, in that Sermon on the Mount, and be kind to those who are not necessarily kind to you. One of two things is going to happen. They're going to see the love of God at work and say, I want that. Or you're just going to be keeping more wrath upon their head for the day of wrath. There was a, a story about a man who was in a bar one time. He's a, uh, just a hateful, spiteful man. Happened to be married to a woman who trusted Christ as her Savior and became a sweet Christian woman. And so he was laid at the bar one night, drunk, and his friends were saying, What kind of wife do you have there, Harry? And he said, I got a Christian wife. I said, a Christian wife? What does that mean? He said, I bet you we could go home to my house right now at 2 in the morning, and she would cook all of us dinner. They said, no, there's no way. Well, he said, follow me. They went to his house. He woke his wife up out of a dead sleep, and he said, I got a bunch of friends. You make them dinner right now. And she put on her robe. She got up and made them a delicious, almost like a Sunday dinner for Harry and his friends. And after the meal, one of the friends went bewildered to Harry's wife and said, why do, you let, why do you take care of him when he treats you like this? And she said, do you see that man? I promised to be faithful to him. And I'm concerned, I've been praying for him to get saved. And I'm concerned that he will never come to faith in Jesus Christ. And I want him to at least have a few moments of pleasure and love on this earth in case he goes to hell for all eternity. Well, I don't know if Harry responded to that uh, witness, but I know his friend did and trusted Christ and was on his way to heaven. So uh, it, 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 at the very least, it will be a good witness uh, to those who don't believe, and you may get someone to see Christ through you to the point where they say, yeah, that's what I need and that's what I want, and I'm trusting Christ as my Savior. Invite the music team forward.